Hello and welcome to Niaga Spotlight with me, Tamina Kauschi. Now, Niaga Spotlight goes through the week in business and future affairs, market watch, industries, analysis and insights. We've got you covered right here on Niaga Spotlight. Well, for this week's analysis, we will be examining household income classification and inflation. So basically the latest on this is the government is set to study a new strategy for implementing targeted RON 95 fuel subsidies based on households' net disposable income via data gathered from the socioeconomic database PADU. So, this approach basically represents a transition in the government's socio-economic policy moving away from the current, of course, income-based categorizations that we're very familiar with, B40, M40, T20. Now, this usage of household net disposable income metrics will be implemented hopefully by January next year, 2024. Now, basically, the issue appears to be M40 income earners or the new poor, quote-unquote, are said to be hanging on by a thread. Among them, those even falling into poverty. Now, despite middle-class earners categorized as the bedrock of economic growth, Malaysia's M40 are now battling financial woes and debts as cost of living, especially in urban areas, continues to rise. Economic Affairs Minister Rafizi Ramli has also said, owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Stats Department estimates that 20% of households slip from M40 into the B40 category. While those from the B40, actually the T20 group slipped to the M40 in 2020 alone. So from there, moving along now into fuel subsidies. So it's been actually very interesting because the Devan Rakyat was told this Wednesday that the government could save up to 17 billion ringgit if T20 are not given petrol, diesel, liquefied petroleum gas LPG subsidies. Now, Deputy Finance Minister Ahmad Maslan said in 2022, consumption of the three types of fuel by the B40 was only 24%, while the M40s was 41% and T20 stood at 35%. So in terms of data, total is 50.8 billion ringgit, and if multiplied by the 35%, used of course by the T20, the value is 17 billion ringgit. Meanwhile, though, Economic Affairs Minister Rafizi said there were many discussions about the economic classification of B40, M40 and T20. However, these brackets also don't reflect the actual economic capability of a household. There are other variables involved such as number of children as well as location. Now, according to Deputy Finance Minister Ahmad Maslan, the mechanism for targeted subsidies is 75% complete. He said it might be announced during presentation of Budget 2024, scheduled for this October.